Hello, students. Good morning. Today I am taking lecture on subject advanced accounting topic underwriting of shares and debentures. I am assistant professor Dr. Vidhi Jado, Faculty of Commerce, Peoples College, Nanded. Today I am taking question that is recently asked in the previous examination that is November December 2023 the question is the sai limited issued 5000 equity shares of rupees 100 each the entire issue was under return by the ganesh brothers or the commission of 5% the shares were payable as follows on application rupees 20 on allotment rupees 30 on first and final call rupees 50 the public applied only for 4000 shares the rest of the shares were taken up by the ganesh brothers later on they sold 800 shares at rupees 110 per share the underwriter the underwriter's expenses amounted to rupees 5000 on the date of 
sa county. The market value of a share was rupees 120. Prepare the underwriting account in the books of Ganesh Brothers. Here, I am taking a solution of this question in the books of Ganesh Brothers. Underwriting account. Underwriting account. Shares of Sai Limited debit particular first column particular second column incoming shares second column third column amount rupees fourth column particular fifth column outgoing shares and last column amount rupees Here, I am taking some working notes about this question. Number one, that is underwriter's liability. Number of shares Number of 
application share issued that is 5000 less number of application received that is 4000 the balance is 1000 there is shortage as well as underwriters liability because of here is no percentage given in this question working note number two underwriters commission amount of issued shares that is how many of shares issued that is 5000 shares issued at the rate 100 that is amount 5 lakh Hence, five percent on five lakh equal to twenty five thousand is the underwriter's commission. Now we are going to underwriting account. First entry to bank account. Underwriters application money. Here I have calculated underwriters liability. That is 1000 shares. It means incoming shares. 1000 into application rate rupees 20 that is amount 20000 next next entry underwriters allotment money Incoming shares mean <clears throat> allotment money one thousand shares into allotment rate is thirty. Hence, allotment money rupees thirty thousand. Then, first and final call money incoming shares nil. First and final call money at the rate rupees 50 with 1000 shares. Hence, amount rupees 50,000. To 
बैंक अकाउंट अंडर एटर्स एक्सपेंसेस अंडर एटर्स एक्सपेंसेस गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन दैट इज फाइव थाउजेंड क्रेडिट साइड बाय बैंक अकाउंट अंडर एटर्स कमीशन in that working number working note i have calculated under address commission that is 25000 outgoing shares nil the bank account sale that is 800 shares at the rate 110 Means outgoing shares is 800 at the rate 110. Amount is 88,000. Now create a total of both sides. Here, debit side is more than credit side. It means one thousand minus eight hundred. That is, di difference balance is two hundred shares. Hence, by balance, write it down. Two hundred shares. Now, going to working note number third. shares cost price of share cost per share here is the formula of cost per share is total of debits minus a uh, total of credit Except sales divided by number of shares taken by by underwriter. Minus number of shares. Taken by the underwriter. Now here is the total of debit is it is one lakh five thousand minus total of credit except sale that is twenty five thousand divided by number of shares taken by underwriter that is one thousand here is no sub underwriter hence nil. One lakh five thousand minus twenty-five thousand equal to eighty thousand divided by ten thousand 
it means rupees 80 rupees 80 is the cost price per share in that question on the date of accounting market value of share was rupees given 120 hence closing balance should be taken on the basis of cost price because of cost price or market price whichever is less here is the cost price is less than market price Two hundred into eighty Good equal to sixteen thousand. Now both side are tallied. That is incoming shares and outgoing shares. Here, credit side amount is bigger than debit side amount. It means that is the difference of cre credit balance. Credit balance means is the profit. That is one lakh twenty nine thousand minus one lakh five thousand equal to one lakh twenty nine thousand. Minus one lakh five thousand. That is twenty four thousand is the profit. Now both side are tallied. Profit indicates two profit and loss account. In bracket. Profit transfer. This is the solution at a glance. I hope every student understood this question with answer. Here is 24,000 is the profit. This is the one uh, working note, underwriters liability, underwriters commission, cost per share. Thank you.